What's up guys, this is Ashnox. Today we have a brand new hero. I will be showcasing this hero right after this video. He's gonna have 15 skill ups. I already have the build plan and I'm going to try him on counter. I'm going to try him on speed and I will have penetration set as well. Let's push the damage. Let's see what kind of numbers we can get out of Zahak, the Earth Warrior. So let's begin here with the summoning session. Will I join the 121 club? 605 Covenant bookmarks. Let's find out. Let's find out. And then I'll 15 skill up the hero. I'll, uh, you know, 6 star him, awaken. And uh, I will build him. You know, I'll talk about different ways to build this hero. I'll give you guys my thoughts about this hero uh, as I summon for the hero. So let's begin here. This is my third account on the Europe server. I'm 100% free to play. I have five accounts. I'm crazy. Yes. Uh, let me just show you this right here. And I'm getting comments like biggest well and stuff like that. Guys, who the hell spends money, you know, real money, and just sits on hundreds of thousands of sky stones? Like, who the hell does that? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Oh my god. Okay, let's let's start it off here. Uh, so Zahak, let's go, baby. Let's uh, let's go for the uh, X10 poles. So I definitely have enough covenant bookmarks. Now, will I get this uh, artifact of his? Uh, it's good, but you know I have other plans for this hero. Like there's this artifact. Just to let you guys know, there's that ar this artifact because he has a non-attack skill. So what does that mean? Well. It means that you can use border coin. Look at that thing right there. You're getting a bunch of attack and speed every time you use a non-attack skill. Stacks, stacks three times. This thing is going to be pretty beast. There's the Guild War Unity artifact. You know, if you want to push the hit chance, he has 50% hit chance on the skill number three. And uh, that's that's good. That's very good because he can actually land his, his attacks versus a hero like Violet. Evasion-based heroes... Yeah, no problem with the skill number three. Now, he doesn't have the hit chance on the skill number one, though. So, you gotta keep that in mind. It's not his whole kit that has the hit chance, right? But the great thing about this hero is that he has 50% critical hit chance on the skill one and on the skill number three. So, that means when it comes down to itemization, you can have a lot more stats. Health, defense, can have more attack, crit damage. It's gonna be much simpler to actually gear this hero out and he can have inflated stats outside of well i mean he's gonna get the crit chance for free really nice he already has 27 percent critical hit chance after awakening so with the 50 percent he's at 77 percent crit chance that is huge right there so that cannot be overlooked now of course you know this is not a limited hero right i'm gonna showcase this hero with 15 skill ups with different gear sets so you guys can see what kind of damage he deals, how he performs, I'll give you guys my thoughts, I'll review this hero, right? Uh, so I, I get comments too like, oh man, uh, Astronauts, he, he reviews, uh, you know, heroes and every hero is amazing. Well, if you base your review, my review of the hero on the, you know, title of the video or the first few lines that I say in my video, that doesn't make sense. That's not how it's, it needs to be watched. You need to watch the, the entire video because I talk about the pros and cons of the heroes, right? And I reserve the cons near the end. Of course, I don't want you guys to just leave the video right away. So I'm going to talk about the pros at the start and then I'll slowly work toward the cons, right? And how you can use this hero, where you can use this hero. And of course, I talk about if this hero should be pulled or you can make your own mind if... Uh, you know, after listening to what I've said, what you've seen, how the hero has been performing, should you be pulling or not, right? So, you gotta keep that stuff in mind. You know, I'm doing sort of like a public service. Five accounts, guys. Five. Just imagine how much time I spend, you know, to keep up with these five accounts. I'm able to pull every single hero that comes out, and I'm able to have 15 skill-ups on each of those heroes. Do you know that... Someone that spends money a well, you know, let's say thousands of dollars per month, let's say or thousands of dollars per year, they cannot even get 15 skill ups on every single hero 
when they come out, right? So I'm doing what I'm doing so I can show you guys how the hero performs, you know, with 15 skill ups. And it can make or break a lot of battles when you have 15 skill ups. That's the thing. Because if you don't have the skill ups, well, that extra bit of damage, you know, might have won you the game. Like, the dynamic is completely different when you have that extra bit of damage, that extra bit of healing, right? These minus one turn cooldowns, they're a big deal. Rihanna and Luciella, that, that's nice. I already had it, but I guess a limit break, you know, for that extra 1%. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get the artifact. Now, I do have enough Covenant bookmarks. You know what? Uh, I mean, I might join the... The 121 club uh it'd be nice if i can get the artifact i could definitely try it out but i feel like uh border coin unity guild War artifact you know getting more hit chance 70 percent hit chance with the skill number three sounds pretty dang good like that that's the thing uh you know uh, violet a lot of evasion there's some heroes that have more than 50 percent evasion now with the skill number three you're going to be able to hit even fire heroes because when you are at elemental disadvantage you know uh, in the case of like he himself is earth versus fire, you know, 50% uh, nice, 50% hit chance means that you actually land your attack, right? So that's really cool right there. Unless the fire hero is an evasion based hero, uh, then yeah, you're going to be able to land your hit. Uh, also, from what I remember from my testing, if you have decreased hit chance debuff, that is a 50% uh, chance of missing your attack, right? Well, if you have hit chance, you can bypass that. You can cancel a decreased hit chance debuff. And that, that's pretty cool right there. You're getting a lot of value out of that. You can correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong. But from my testing, you know, when I was using Briar Witch Isaria, I have decreased hit chance debuff on me and I have the Unity Artifact. I have plenty of hit chance to counter it. So that feels good when you have that. Now this is, once again, not a limited hero. You might get this hero later down the line from a simple free covenant summon. Uh, this hero is probably not going to be a meta hero. I could be wrong. I need to test him out, see what kind of damage he's able to deal. So yeah, uh, I'm going to be uh, skilling him up, give you guys my thoughts about the skill up priority. And uh, of course, I will be building the hack in this video and the showcase will be after this video right so i don't even know how many summons it was i did not get the artifact now th the question is should i summon no it was it was not 100 uh yeah it was not 121 pulls because there's 115 summons left so that means i got him earlier right and he's yeah that's it so didn't join the 121 club so that's good uh now for the artifact do i really want it like, that, that's the thing. Should you be pulling for this artifact? Is it worth it? Like I said, Border Coin sounds really good. Maybe you don't have it, though. But you can get the Guild War Unity artifact. But maybe there's a higher priority for other heroes for that actual artifact. Maybe he's not the best contender. He already has 50% hit chance on the skill number 3. But can you down Violet with the skill number 3? Can you down an evasion base hero in one hit? So with having a penetration set, when I'll try him on speed penetration, higher offensive stats, we'll see what he's able to do. Can he one-shot? Big question right there. We'll find out, right? So let's go for uh, the build. Oh, th they added that. Preview max level. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Of course, more attack, more health uh, under the card. You can see that. And, uh, you know, it's not that much critical hit damage. You're already getting the speed buff. Uh, to be honest, I can do just fine without it. Now... I don't want to go for another round of summons, guys. That's the thing. Like, I might not even get the artifact. I can get it for, from Powder of Knowledge. So I might change my mind and just end up buying it. Right? Uh, memory imprint, just real quick. For the team, front and back defense. Uh, that's good. You build him like bruisery count to set, something like that. And that's how I'm going to actually test him out uh, for you guys. And uh, he has attack for himself. That's real good. He already has plenty of critical hit chance. You know, from his S1 and, and S3, the attack skills. So he doesn't need to have crit chance here. Uh, you're gonna have already some on the gear. He has 27 from the Awakening, right? So yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, actually build this hero. He's got the Soul Burn on S1 that actually allows him to uh, you know deal more damage. So you could be saving your souls and go back to back with the S1. I like the damage increase when the target is buffed. So that's pretty solid right there. Let's go into the skill ups. Of course, 
And uh, yeah, so we got, of course, here the minus one turn cooldown, quite a big deal. I would say that getting this thing to, you know, plus three is important because you definitely want to get this S3 going ASAP. You got invincibility, which is a big deal, of course. Uh, the injury, you know, you can inflict up to 35% of the target's maximum health in injury. You, can, you destroy that maximum health. That, that's great. Uh, hit chance, crit chance 50%. I mean, that, that S3 is pretty loaded. A very strong injury on a single target attack. Of course, much better than one that, uh, you know, on an AOE attack, an attack that hits everyone because you can really focus your attack and grind that target down. And, uh, you know, if they are, let's say, healing based on their own maximum health, uh, that will be cut. They will be losing effectiveness because they will not have as much health. So that is good, right? That is definitely good. Um, and of course, the crit chance, S1, S3, guarantee 50% crit chance. So much value out of that. So how to actually skill him up properly? If you can land the one shot, uh, based on the testing I will be doing, maybe you need to prioritize the skill number three, put more skill ups into this thing. But, you know, it has a four turn cooldown, right? After skill up. So you're not going to be using that skill that much throughout the battle you're going to be spending most of the time using the skill one if you have them on a counter set then that means that's more skill ones so you might want to actually skill up s1 more so than s3 because um maybe the s3 doesn't deal enough damage right but if you're really going for that one shot versus like a green violet uh he might be pretty bulky maybe you don't have enough speed he actually already went maybe the, he already has the fans buff uh it, yeah, it needs to be tested. It needs to be tested. So I would say plus three on the S3 and uh, plus three on the S1. And then barrier strength is not that big of a deal. 20% more here. So you could start working on S1 more. And then, you know, you could... It's 50% barrier strength, so it's pretty considerable. But the barrier looks to be like 20% of... of him, his own maximum health and the targets, you know, uh, your allies maximum health, not the greatest. So yeah, S3 plus 3, S1 plus 3, then I would prioritize S3 based on how much damage we'll see in my testing and then finish the S1, then you can start working on the barrier strength. Uh, it really depends how you're going to be using him, what type of build you're going to have him on, he's going to be bruisery or he's going to be high offense, high speed. But I will start with testing him on counter and penetration set. So let's see what kind of stats I'm going to have on this hero. Let me put some gear on him right now. So this is his build on counter set and penetration set. And I'm going for longer battles. We'll see what kind of damage he's able to deal. To be honest, I could have better gear quality. Well, it's my third account on the Europe server. Um, yeah, it, it can definitely... Uh, be improved. Uh, quite a bit of room for improvement. Uh, let's look at the stats of each piece of gear so you get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. So he actually has, he's missing 36% critical hit chance. So I can definitely bring the crit chance down, right? Like this piece of gear right there. Uh, I don't need the crit chance. I could have more health. Uh, I could have more health and defense across my gear or especially attack. I, I could, I'm lacking attack, but at least you know, he's got pretty decent amount of critical hit damage. He's very bulky. So I'm definitely going for the long haul. And we'll see what kind of damage he's able to do. Especially with the border coin building up throughout the battle. We'll really see, uh, you know, what kind of numbers with that much bulk on this hero. But after that, I want to test him on speed set with penetration. With much more uh, offensive power, right? So that's going to be real interesting and we'll see some big numbers. You know, I could have started with that, um, but I'll reserve it for, for the next video. Uh, so yeah, that's the gear that I have for him. To be honest, like the gear on the necklace and ring rolled pretty well. That's like the better penetration set uh, pieces from the Conquest Point shop. And you guys can get penetration set from there as well. Uh, so you should definitely get it before the season ends because the price is going to be higher after that, right? And uh, good luck with the rolling. Of course, necklace and ring are going to be the better pieces. And he has quite a bit of speed throughout this gear, though. Like, that's the thing. I would much prefer having 
you know, a higher amount of attack, higher amount of, uh, you know, critical hit damage, uh, more health, more, I mean, more defense, more health. Uh, to be honest, like, if I had more health on my sub stats, uh, more defense, like, I would be running an attack percentage, maybe main stats, ring, or boots. The thing is, the free penetration set for Conquest Point, uh, I mean, you need Conquest po Point, it's not totally free. No, it's health percentage main stat. So, get a roll with that. So, it would be the boots that needs to be attack percentage main stats, but I don't actually have good counter set boots. Uh, I used everything, and I can't get something that's decent. So, yeah, room for improvement. He could be fine with less amount of health, but if he's running a high amount of speed, you can get that invincibility up faster, but they might remove it. That's the thing. You cannot rely solely on this thing. It really depends who you are fighting. I don't think it's going to be a hero that... Of course, uh, maybe you can bring him in a limited amount of, uh, you know, uh, teams. You, you cannot bring a hero in every situation. That's, that's always the case, right? Uh, but yeah, I wish I had better gear quality, but I guess it's more relatable. You guys might have stats similar to that, or you might be able to muster these type of, uh, you know, stats. Uh, so yeah, not bad. And you can see this is the free conquest point helm and chest. And like a lot of stuff from PvP. Uh, so that's that's nice. That's nice. So yeah, I could definitely have something like over 3,000 attack if I had better gear quality. I could drop the health to around 18,000. Maybe I would be comfortable with a higher amount of defense, to be honest, to have a better amount of effective health. But yeah, that's the build. You guys let me know. Uh, let's have a discussion in the comment section what you guys think about that. I think on speed set, he can definitely shine quite well uh it's hard to go for speed guys you know a counter set with a 30 percent you know chance to trigger is pretty juicy right there especially with a skill one that is this powerful can't wait to see the multiplier especially versus a buff target that's gonna be quite interesting with the soul burn yeah uh that's gonna be nice that's gonna be nice i hope the damage is gonna be good right don't have a memory imprint don't have an unknown slate it's gonna be fine to be honest small stat increase but yeah, let us know what you guys think about all that in the comment section. That's it for this one. I'm Marshall Nice. Good luck with all y'all do. Peace out for now.